What's going on YouTube? Nick back here at my own house and today I'm gonna to be doing an at-home workout. I really only have an hour of time and I'm feeling pretty lazy. I have like no motivation. I'm not going to the gym. So I'm gonna be working out at home. Just gonna work on my planche and front lever. I'm finally getting over an injury with my forearm. I hyperextended it. So I'm slowly getting back into it. So I'm gonna to try to just like have some fun and, and get a good workout in doing the basics today. I'll probably hit a few front levers. I'm definitely also gonna do some planches, probably do a lot of tucked. Haven't done a straddle planche in, in probably two, three, maybe even four months now. So I'm taking it super, super slow. Injury is just not worth making worse. Make sure you heal first, make sure you rehab properly until you're pain free, then start to ramp it up a little bit. If I do feel pain, I will stop today. You'll see it be wearing an arm sleeve as well. This will kind of help take some tension off that area and uh, just kind of keep it compact and, and constricted. So that's how I'm feeling today. I don't have an exact plan going into this workout, but we're just gonna try to have some fun with it and, and get a good pump in. I did lift a little bit um, this morning at my job in the gym. So I'm gonna take a real light with this calisthenics workout, but follow me along the journey. I'm sure there'll be plenty of learning opportunities in this video. All right, I'm ready to go. It always takes a lot more motivation when you're at home working out just because the couch is right there. You could easily just sit down and take a nap. But I know I need to do this. I wanna get better, I wanna get stronger. So gonna have to fight through this. Just gonna blast some tunes in the ears and uh, power through. Let's run it. All right, so that was the planche portion of the workout. I don't think I'm going to do much more than that. I think that's pretty good for one day. I will say, pretty good for the first time doing straddle planches in like three to four months. Muscle memory is a beautiful thing. I've been doing this for like two or three years, so like I expected to be able to do one. It definitely is harder. It's frustrating, but we go through injuries and, and this happens. So for day one doing straddle planches, I think that was a really good day. I feel really good. And I think my form was, was decent. It wasn't perfect, but pretty good. Um, let's see how these front levers go. So that's all I got for today. Shoulders starting to bother me a little bit and I definitely gassed myself out on all the planche work. So my front levers were a bit iffy, starting to get a little frustrated and I already lifted today as well. So gonna call it for the day. This is a message to you, listen to your body. Body was telling me, you know, take a second, breathe. Shoulders starting to act it up, just stop. Uh, it's just not worth it, you know? So I'll get back after it tomorrow or the next day, no big deal. 
Um, but thank you. I hope you guys learned something in these videos. Hope you took one or two workouts away from this and start to apply it on your own, even if it's with a resistance band. And thank you so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Check out my social media platforms on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at core underscore calisthenics. And check out my website, corecalisthenics.com, where I have every single workout I know on there, me explain the right way to perform it in under one to two minutes. And stay tuned for my videos every single Saturday at 12 p.m. noon Eastern time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.